Welcome to the second video in CAD Point's Interior Design Shot Fit Out Workflow series. In this video, we're going to quickly run through creating presentation sheets and loading views onto them. First thing to do would be to move down here into our sheets and create a new sheet. We're going to use our A3 CAD Point title block. I'm going to say OK to that. And what we're going to do here, we will rename this to SK01, we're going to call it Layout Plan. OK, I'll just delete this one out here. We zoom into this area here, you can see our sheet has been set up, so it automatically takes on the project name and the drawing title name as well as other information including the drawing number, the date, and the scale and so on. If we move up into the ground floor plan, I'm just going to select this crop box and crop it in as tight as possible to our building. I'm going to turn the crop visibility off. We'll move back into our sheet layout, I'm going to ZA to zoom all, I'm going to bring in our ground floor plan, I'm going to turn the title off, and there you can see we have our ground floor plan in at a scale of 1 to 50, as mentioned here. I'm now going to create an internal section. Okay, so as you can see, that's created a section straight through the building just taken from our 3D drawing and our plan with no extra work in there. What I am going to do is, because we didn't really concentrate on our construction of the wall, we haven't given it any footing, we're just going to go and edit the boundary. That will take us into our ground floor plan. And we can come down here and we can align these walls, align these sketch lines the external part of the wall. Instead of the center line. And we can finish those floor properties. Now if we move back into our section, that's updated there also. We've got this set up at a scale of 1 to 50 at the moment, the same as our plan. So if we move back into our site layout we can come in and we can place a view that we know it's called the internal section one add view to sheet we're just going to place that in line and you see it snaps there in line again we'll turn off the title what i'm going to do i'm going to come in here and activate this view i'm going to just remove the crop region in a little bit tighter. I'm going to turn off the crop and we'll deactivate the view. Let's move this view down a bit. And there you can see we have our first sheet finished. Now obviously we've called this layout plan. If we wanted to come down here we can change this to layout plan and section which updates that not only in the drawing sheet but also in the name over here. I think we can uh, now create another sheet. We'll go to new sheet, A3 CAD point title block and we'll go OK. And it's also given it an in sequence drawing number. I'm going to use the drag method to bring on our internal view into this sheet here. place that down in the bottom right. I'm just going to duplicate our floor plan with detailing. The two things I'm going to change here are the detail level and the scale. So I'm just going to drag that down, place that up in the top left, and 
I'm going to turn off the title. Come down here and we'll call this internal view one. And we're just going to now print these to PDF. So I'm going to choose my PDF printer. I'll choose a cute PDF printer in here. Go into our setup and we'll change this to the A3. And we want the zoom to be one to for one hundred percent for one to one, and we're going to move on to selected sheets. I'm just going to print the two sheets here. We'll now press OK. Just call this SK01. Save. We'll call this one SK02. And here we have our A3 presentation sheets, here showing the layout plan and a section, and here showing a sheet with our rendered view on. That brings to an end this video. In our next video we will look at how to create working drawings within Revit.